someone need not to be a teacher to make someone learn you will be a learner and you are learning something or the other from one or the other person small child teaches me how to forget not to be revengeful Welcome to Great Principles. I am Seema Chhoria. I bring to you another insightful episode in Great Principles. Indian author and spiritual master Amit Ray, also known for his teachings on meditation, yoga, peace, and compassion, says, "Formal education teaches how to stand, but to see tomorrow, you must come out and walk many steps on your own." Today we have Mr. Nilesh Rathor, Principal Arya Gurukul. Ambarnath Maharashtra sharing his thought ideologies and journey with us welcome to great principles sir it's an honor to have you namaste and hari om to everyone thank you sir so let us begin where it all started sir once upon a time your vision and philosophy on the importance of education was and it continues still date so sir i agree that you know there is no more bigger treasure than education and no one can steal that from you so i would like to know from you can you throw some light on the philosophy of yours yeah uh, so uh, what i believe is there is a sanskrit saying like uh, swadeshe pujyante raja vidwan sarvatra pujyante means the king is getting recognition in his own state whereas the educated person goes everywhere and getting recognition everywhere just because of the education whether he is belonging to that place or not doesn't make a difference even my motto in life i'll say involve to evolve when you involve yourself certainly you are going to evolve and be a lifelong learner so every time till the end of the life you will be a learner and you are learning something or the other from one or the other person so this is my motto my philosophy in life wonderful sir i really love the part involve to evolve if each one of us follow this you know we will evolve every day but the point is that are we willing to involve ourselves by involving we means we need to put in efforts and make ourselves available open to learning so wonderful thought here sir thank you so much for there sharing this beautiful vision with us going ahead sir Arya Gurukul incorporates Chinmaya Vision Program, which forms the backbone of learning. CBB focuses on four main areas of child development: integrated development, Indian culture, patriotism, and universal outlook. In order to promote child's intellect, spiritual, mental, and physical growth, so now this is this is a huge responsibility, and I'm sure this requires a very well-trained staff. So tell me, sir, how are your teachers trained effectively to deliver according to this vision of school following the Chinmaya Chinmaya Vision Program? so uh, coming to chinmay vision program you have already given the backbone that is the four pillars of it so what we do when we think of that uh, everything to be taken together usually we miss out with one or the other thing so as i as well as the management of the school have thought of that why not to take baby steps so we have formulated like in a particular year we will take only one pillar as the theme and we will try to inculcate that and include that embed that with our curriculum as a part of the value based program so this year we have the theme integrated development now coming to integrated development also that is again bifurcated into physical development mental development we have intellectual development and spiritual development so when we are talking about say for example maths lesson division so when we are dividing we are teaching division one of the value is given to them intellectual development value or even the spiritual development value that when you divide it is decreasing so you have to divide your anger you have to divide your hatred so that you will be smaller with the or peace with the mind so this is something when teaching division we are even teaching this coming year that is for the year 22 23 we will have indian culture as our theme so this way we make baby steps and for each and every subject i have just given an example of maths each and every subject we try to inculcate we have another many many such aspects which are being bifurcated 
I think very less time or else I could have given you the whole scope. If possible, I'll share with you even the whole chart of the Vinja, uh, Chinmay Vision program. That will be a great one to be shared with as well. So please throw a little more light, you know, so that how you train your teachers, you know, every school yeah. have different philosophies. So here I'd like to know about teacher training to train this wonderful program. The main Chinmay Visa program is in Chennai. So under Chinmay Vision program, there are many states, many schools, those who are following. And very often, that means once in a month, the main head office of the Chinmay Vision program, they take the classes for our teachers. So every month that is there. Now, teachers are getting trained, but are they able to uh, cascade the same to the students? For that, what the people are doing, Chinmay Vision people are doing. They are actually going to the class inside the teacher whom they have trained and they see that whether that is going on in a proper way or not. Apart from that, before going to the class, we have something called overview. Overview is something where the teachers are actually giving the real life situation, real class situation to the heads. There, if something is lacking, again, we give them training that here you can change this, here you can add this, but this is not required. Likewise, so this training is going on. One more thing I want to tell you, ma'am, here, when you, have talk, when you are talking about Chinmay Vision Program, this is about philosophy and culture of our India. That is a great country, right? I heard somewhere today that India is the only country which is calling the country name by Mata. Desko hum log ma mante hai. Like no other country in the world is calling the country itself as Mata. Des Mata. We never, never heard about this. So it is not that we are just promoting the culture and traditions, but even I'll tell you, we are the Microsoft showcase school. Throughout the country this year, hardly 880 schools are there which got Microsoft Soke School. And we are one of them. In India, we have only 118. And we are only one, we are one of them. So we are talking about the best in the world, but not leaving the roots. So this way we are training the teachers and that training is actually being escalated. We have different trainings like Microsoft training. Uh, all our teachers, I'll, I'm proud to tell that all my teachers are MIEE. MIEE means Microsoft Innovative Education, Education Experts. So they are all experts in Microsoft Innovative Education. We give the maximum and the recent trained in the uh, field of education. Like in Microsoft right now, uh, progressive reader has come. If you read, I give you a paragraph on Microsoft. You read your spelling, your pronunciations, and everything is being recorded. And Microsoft itself uh, checks it. So the teacher doesn't require them. But the teacher check that. And then in the real class, the teacher even cascade that, see, child, you have done this. But the pronunciation is like that. So this makes a lot of difference. So these type of trainings are going on every time. Anything new coming to the field of education, we try to pass it on to the teachers. Wonderful, sir. You know, what is the best part? It's great to know that teachers are trained on a regular basis, but also whether they are implementing the same and whether they are guiding the children in the guided manner, that is what is wonderful to know because execution is the key. Howsoever you train anyone, if they are not able to execute in the right direction, then the entire effort is in vain. So amazing philosophy. And so I think uh, if I ask you this, that you know, not all the schools follow Chitmya Vision Program. There are already four pillars which I have spoken about which I have my perspective. But since you're running this program, I would like to know from you, what do you think? How this program benefits child, country, parents? What, what, what is your thought? See, uh, as far as my uh, perceive of Chinmay Vision program is there, what we expect as a parent, that mera bacha bahut acha mark na lai chalega, but mera bacha acha citizen hona chahiye. So where from that will come? Education may give you lots of money. Education may keep you on the top of the positions in any of the company or any of the organization. But if you don't have that value, will you be able to sustain at that place? If you keep on uh, uh, having some clashes with the people, if your higher ups, if your management, if your colleagues, will you be able to sustain? I think I need to tell here, that there are two concepts nowadays coming in the market. One is a leadership and then second one is a boss. If, if, if I have to conclude this in one line, I'll say 
without cvp someone can be a boss with cvp someone will be a leader very well defined so beautifully uh, you know explained with the a very perfect example of leadership and boss see you can be boss but you need to be a leader if you want to make a difference so this is what it's in vision program is doing it's not only making a difference in your child's life in fact it's making a difference in the country as a whole we should be proud of our country and that is being that is that is what is being taught here wonderful sir it's great to know about it and uh, i'm very happy to see that the you know the regular teachers training is taken care of which is very much required today going ahead in a conversation sir the acknowledgement for a good work you know it comes in various forms someone felicitates you someone gives you verbal testimonials appreciations so i would like to know talk to us about this, uh, an award that is a very very special place in your heart uh see uh, there are many but uh, i'll say the first ever award what i got that was in the year 200 2003 when i was a teacher and i was just a great teacher i was a class 10 class teacher i was teaching maths over there and in that the taluka level my child got the highest mark 100 on 100 so i got the best educator award at taluka level by that time that was very close to my heart because that was the first ever accolade what i have received first ever recognition which i have received in throughout the taluka then uh, coming to one of the another school that is uh, nalanda where they give educator of the year so there also i got the educator of the year on the very first year why i am mentioning here because they had a rule that anyone who is a fresher will not be given with the award in the very first year only after one year they will be given but looking at the work and the way i have uh, shaped the uh, life they gave me the educator of the year then there are many but again i'll say uh, teacher help teacher is a community on uh, facebook as well as uh, doing a great work i am a part of that and for the first time in 2018 they started with ajustar award i don't know who has nominated me you cannot nominate yourself someone has to nominate you and then they said a questionnaire questionnaire uh, then they sent me the question and i casually filled it up and i got among 25 best educators in the country i got i was one of them they have got 92 recognitions similarly i have after that my journey with tht was a great one Uh, they started with the uh, teacher task force that is unesco model teacher task force replication in the year 2019 where i was a chairperson of one of the committee then the next year in 2020 they made me the director general for the committee so these are some of the accolades then insc in uh, institute of science in bangalore they have given me the scholarship for the lifetime membership scholarship and they gave me the best principal award so these are some of the awards but i define the awards are not what i am achieving this is all because whatever i wanted to do whatever i aspired to do all this being recognized by others accepted by others and very well being taken in their life unless and until it is being taken by them i will not be the person who is getting recognition so but i believe that all these awards are just because the person whom with i have worked they have accepted my work so all these awards are dedicated to all of them with whom i worked them actually great sir congratulations on all your achievements and uh, i'm sure the good work you're doing uh, many more are yet to come for you on their way and uh, you know one thing is there sir you need not lead an organization or be at the top rank to make a difference you can be a teacher who is doing a humble beginning you know a teacher can create a difference anywhere she need not be in an organization specifically any school if she decides if he or she decides they can just move out and you know just impart this wonderful thing that they have that is knowledge just pass it on and they create a difference so huge respect for all the teachers out there sir believes that you know a teacher within him is someone who always keeps him motivating him doing the work that he is doing great sir so let's move ahead in a conversation sir so you know as social leader especially in education sector we are under a lot of scrutiny you know parents also judges you the board also judges you and even students teacher everyone judges you so you know your good work is appreciated also but at times we are criticized also when we are in the leadership role so these are the some tough 
bad situation or times. So here, sir, whom do you look up for? Inspiration, help, advice, support. Name one educationist. Who is your role model here in such kind of situations? To be very frank, my best teacher is my mother. As you told, someone need not to be a teacher to make someone learn. My mother was a born teacher. She never been to teaching field yet. She has taught me. And when she saw that I need some company to teach, she has identified this trait that I'm good with companies in reading, studying and getting achievements. So she started taking tuitions. Okay, during, I think in the uh, 70s, 80s, they started taking tuitions. So my mother is one of the best person whom I'm always looking forward to for any type of help. Apart from that, what I do, for me, even a small child is a teacher. The small child teaches me how to forget not to be revengeful. आज मैंने आपके साथ लड़ाई की कल उसी बच्चे के साथ मैं खेलूंगा पेरेंट्स तो लड़ते रहेंगे सोसाइटी में लेकिन बच्चे तो जाके खेलने लगेंगे सो आई टेक दैट लर्निंग फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड बड़े दे आर ऑलवेज इनटू फाइटिंग मोड वंस दे आर फाइटिंग वंस दे स्टार्ट क्वारलिंग विद ईच अदर दैट वेंजेंस विल ऑलवेज रिमेन इन द हार्ट और इन द माइंड बट चिल्ड्रन ठीक है कल लड़ा था ना ठीक है चलना फ्रेंड्स लेट्स प्ले सो आई टेक दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट व्हेन आई सी अ हंबल पर्सन like i read many stories i read many books so when i see the achievements even the small uh, article which came before few days that a person a rickshaw wala got somewhere around some 4 lakhs some person left 4 lakhs in the in bangalore in a rickshaw and that person was with that rickshaw carrying that money because he thought that if i am going to give it to the police station police people will take it away it will not reach to them so he was standing two days at the same place where the person boarded just to think that the person will come back he has not got a single call of rickshaw he has not earned a single money now think of that a person who is earning money to meet his bread to meet his demands made still he is not earning a single money just to think of that this 4 lakh rupees will be a good asset for someone and i have to return it back so this is again a learning we are so uh, selfish in our life that we never be empathetic to someone hamara 4 lakh gaya to hum log to kya kya kar lenge but dusre ka 4 lakh ja raha hai to maximum people will think i will say 99.99999 i don't know a infinity person will think that ye main khud rakh lo but that single person so that is something what i am saying and mostly i learn from the failure stories not from the success stories because where they failed that is the area what i have to learn so i basically see talk to lot many people i am a person who is a bit talkative even if i am traveling in a train someone is someone is nearby i'll start talking to him and i'll try to find out the things from him and that is my learning so yes if i have to get advice it is my mother learning from the whole world world uh, sky is the limit for me and i know across the world everyone is a everyone is a person who is teaching me one or the other thing if i meet them <laughs> wonderful thoughts sir you know we just need to keep the windows of our mind open learning is everywhere you know a small child has so beautifully explained such a beautiful example many of us ignore this that a child is never revengeful he just forgets all right jo hua chhod do let's get on fir se dost ban jate hain so this is such a beautiful thought that we all need to learn as a adult so wonderful sir to know how you seek learning in every aspect of your life while you're reading also while you're traveling also and even you know small beginnings small humble some small incidents also inspires you makes you learn and great so wonderful so on this note we reached the very interesting segment of the show it is called rapid fire round sir you have to answer in one word or maximum one statement okay so here goes the first question you spend your recreational time indulging in activities like whatever comes my way i try to finish it as a challenger all right tell us about a funny or a weird incident in your life <laughs> a child of class 7 came with a newer method solving the maths and told me that sir i am challenging you this is the right method 
Great. And he was right. And he was right. That is that is wonderful. So that's again a learning in this incident also. All right. Since you mentioned that you read a lot, I would like to know from you the last book you read. Okay. Last book was not very this one. I, I'll be able to uh, show it to you even. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Transforming Indians to Transform India. This is the book which is going on. I'm left with hardly 15 to 20 pages. So it is still with me. So this is the book which I'm reading right now. This is under the Chinmay Vision Mission Initiative. This is the book which I'm reading right now. Hardly 10, 12 pages are left for me to read and complete. Wonderful. Do you have any doodle art for us? <laughs> Do I love doodling. Uh, doodling. I love doodling. And I believe that when you your mind is open, you can be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. And best way is art, doodling. So you want me to draw or something? That would be fine, sir. Great. If, if you could do us or if you have any work, you can show us also. Okay. Immediately I will do and I'll show it to you. Great. Awesome, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. So sir is uh, doodling here for us and we are eagerly waiting to see what is coming up. So my viewers are, you know, completely thinking what also does. He reads, he travels, he keeps on challenging himself. He doodles also. There are so many traits. He's a teacher, a mathematician, you know, so many things which he has. Great. Small one. I think, is it visible? Yeah. So it's education lights light. Wonderful, beautiful thought here. Great, so a candle is coming out from the education, that's from the book. Great, sir. Nice. Thank you, ma'am. So this is uh, just spontaneously done. And to all my viewers, our uh, guest doesn't know the questions which are thrown to them. So it's a complete surprise package. Great, sir. Last question of this segment. Sir, you paint also. So I would like to know from you, painting for you is? Painting for me is uh, like healing my mind healing my day and relaxing myself. Great. So, you know, when you see something, you know, beautiful colors coming out and you're taking shape, that is something actually heals us. So it's actually a powerful therapy. To many of the painters, they might be able to relate it, I'm sure. So this brings to me to the last question of the show, which is called viewer's choice question. Our viewers keep on sending us a lot of questions. And this is the one which I have picked for you. They say that there is a lot of activity in your learning and certification segment. I have noted you are also always up for learning. Is it important for educators to be in constant learning mode and coach others? Yes, very much important. Very nicely being asked to whoever is the viewer. Thank you for this. Because this is again a, a silent motto in my life. I have a philosophy again. I started with the philosophy, even we're ending with the philosophy. Ma'am, uh, educators are the students around 15 years back. They are teaching a child in the class who will be a citizen maybe 15 years later. So that gap is around 30 years. Do you think that nothing is going to change in 30 years? The world is changing in 10 years, right? You might have seen in the Facebook some of the photos that a camera person on a, a chopper is taking the photographs. Now it is with drone cameras, right? So in 10 years, both the cameraman as well as the chopper person lost the job. So think of a teacher 15 years back being learning something, teaching to a child who will be a citizen 30, 15 years later, gap is of 30 years. Are we justifying education? No. So if we need to bridge this gap, teacher has to constantly be learning. Unless, not only learning man, he has to be a 4C person for next 15 years, unless and until he do so, he is not actually justifying his job. I'm very sorry, but education people are thinking like, theek hai, sabse easy job hai. Jao, padhao, chale ao. Kya hai? No, we are the most responsible person. We are shaping the life of each and every other field. No other person is shaping a doctor. No other person is shaping an engineer. We curse doctors. Yeh doctor ne kharap kar diya. Kis ne padhaya? Right? So, not to blame anyone, but yes, if we don't 
update ourselves if we don't upgrade ourselves we will not be able to pass it out to the children then what children will do so upgrading teachers is a must compulsory no other way or else you will be out of the field absolutely sir certain and you know and given the time step now there is google guru is there so google is where all the facts are stored there are so many things now teacher are no more knowledge keepers so you know information is available but how to you know interpret that information which is the right information how much should i absorb that is the role of teacher you know the role of teacher is shifted from the you know knowledge keeper to the mentor to the facilitator similarly you know teacher needs to upgrade themselves they need to know what is happening like corona this pandemic period all the teachers have upgraded themselves and got to know that how they should connect with technology how they need to collaborate with other learners on this virtual platforms technological platform so there are many challenges which are going to from, come through and i love the way the sir explained the 30 year gap thing this is something which requires a lot of thought everyone needs to give the thought that are we doing justice to education you know so very well said sir very well said i truly appreciate beautifully answered great sir so sir on this note we will end our session sir here so on in the ending i would like to say that the end of education is to achieve excellence in character and in this sense education is a life learning process for all be it be educator parent student child everyone so wonderful sir it was great to know your journey we great principals feel blessed and privileged to have an opportunity to interact with you hey mia ma my pleasure if someone is getting something i feel that my this uh, time is uh, well utilized thank you so much sir thank you thank you